large for me. Looks like someone's eating healthy today. This day and age, you got to. I agree. <coughs> Anything else I can get for you? Uh, no, uh, that would be all. Thank you. Okay. You went back with your order. Just give me a holler when your friend arrives. in time to order? Barely. Okay, uh, well then, in that case, I will have a western omelet with a side of hash browns, uh, three strips of bacon, four sausages, a piece of white bread toasted to perfection, <laughs> and a large cup of coffee. A real health nut, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back with your order. Thank Cardiologist today? What do you mean you got it covered? Let's just say a higher power is looking out for it. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? shower shave this morning. Did you sleep at all? You got bags under your eyes. No, I didn't do that either. Alright, so talk to me then. What's going on? You're not sleeping, you're not showering. No, of course I'm not on drugs again. Unless you count caffeine as a drug. Well then fine, yes, I'm on drugs again. Coffee is my drug of choice. Well, that explains it then. Explains what? Why you're so wired? You're drinking too much coffee, that's why you can't sleep. I haven't had a cup in two days. Will you stop this, please? What? Stop keeping me in suspense. What am I doing? I'm just sitting here. I know you. Something's up and I know you're just bursting to tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so, well then tell me about this breakfast you just ordered there. You're not afraid of dying? <laughs> no! <laughs> Heart attack? Stroke? Brain aneurysm? Things like that? No, no, and no. I just don't understand how someone in this day and age can be so precarious about their health. <coughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. Okay. Last night, I was going to end it. I gotta let you know, a 
person can do a, a lot of soul searching at a time like that. Unfortunately, I considered myself completely soulless. But then something happened that it has forever changed my life. What? God friended me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> God. God. Yeah. I you on Facebook. That's what I said. <laughs> yes, he did. No, he didn't. You don't believe me? No, I don't. I've been friends for years. Why wouldn't you believe me? In all that time, Doug, you've only told me two truthful things about yourself. When and where you were born. No, I actually lied about those two, but this time I am telling you the truth. Yeah, and I should believe you? Why? Okay, you don't believe me. When you go home today, go to my Facebook page and look at who's on my friends list. Then you'll see that I'm telling you the truth.
basic guilt. The waitress and I had a spiritual experience. God reached out and friended us. He invited us to join him on his Facebook page. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Say that it's possible. Say that it's possible that God would want to reach out in the only way that this generation would be able to understand and accept Him. God is omnipotent and apparently computer savvy. <laughs>
With the help of John Lynch of the PATF, Irene McLaughlin, and the faculty and staff here at the high school, the where and the when fell right into place. The who began with the playwrights, whose work we had read at the North Pole Leader School, and the word spread. Plays were submitted and selected. People volunteered to spearhead committees, and you can see what a fabulous job they've done. And the wonderful theater community stepped up to stage the place. And so, with the generous hard work of close to 100 playwrights, directors, actors, and volunteers, you have the first annual North Fort One Act Playtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an amazing experience to meet and work with these very talented and enthusiastic people. Thanks to everyone. Um, a special thank you to Fred Sprower, who has set up our lights and is running them and his assistant Nick. your house lights. Do well, you want me to turn the other ones back on? Oh, okay. Uh, can we have just uh, one light on so, because they're all sitting here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> so, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Bonnie Corso. Uh, very much with the Reader's Theater in Rhinebeck, New York. 
but also he's had a couple of investments that have kind of worked out for him. Uh, he's an investor in Broadway musicals such as Avenue Q, The Producers, and Hairspray, and has been involved with the international domestic productions of those, and continues to go to the theater with four or five theater, district, uh, theater subscriptions in New York City. In fact, he's going probably this week, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so a round of applause for Richard Rizzo. wasn't that easy. <laughs> you all were great. So all of you get a round of applause just in general, please. <laughs> Somebody has to be chosen, so here we go. For best playwright, for the first award, the Rising Star Award for best playwright. Again, the names, Bonnie Corso, for Mrs. Finkel and the Caterer. Butz Olnick for The Shadow Painter. Jack Donahue for Reef, Reef, uh, Free Refills, Tim Needles for Black Friday, J.E. Phelan for God Friend of Me on Facebook, and tonight's chosen rising star, J.E. Phelan. <laughs> Best Director, again the names. Lois Morton for Mrs. Finkel and the Caterer, Debbie Phelan for The Shadow Painter, Reese Bulls for Free Refills, Joanne Cass for Black Friday, Jean Brown for God Friend of Me on Facebook. And tonight's rising star for director, Jean Brown. Yeah! We have about ten. <laughs> I'm going to read all the names, too. I'll tell you, this is no Oscar. We're going to read all the actors from ten, not just the movie. David Levine for Mrs. Finkel and the Caterer. Keith Jonas for The Shadow Painter. Ray Palin for The Shadow Painter. And if I say it wrong, I apologize. It Patrick Charon for Free Refills. Nicholas Labruna for Free Refills. Bruce Hollander for Black Friday. Doug Coyne for Black Friday. Omar Abalde, did I say that right? Close enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And Logan McCoy, for God's friend of me on Facebook. Oh, the winner, or excuse me, the rising star for best actor. Logan McCoy. Yes! <laughs> Frankel and the Caterer, Diane Gutierrez, Free Refills, Alyssa Carell, Black Friday, Diane Gutierrez for Black Friday, Luan Serres for God Friend of Me on Facebook, the best actress, rising star, Lois Morton, Mrs. Finkel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 